you know, one to however many seconds you're thinking about helping him, you've already lost. You're, you need yeah. to decide before that. So if we go back here and we say, okay, you know, we see that we have no millionaires, so we get the wave and we're out. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. Because Fizz is coming back. And there's no counter. So that when he goes, if we, this is our mindset going into this, check it out. Oh, okay. He's in thing. I'm out. This and I see that. I'm like, bro, this is fucking griefing. No hesitation, right? Because we have already prepared beforehand that mm -hmm. we know that this is bad. And that will help you make sure you don't end with this dude, <laughs> right? Gotcha, and gotcha. This, anticip this anticipation idea, like read the future, is also, you know, mechanical in nature. Because when Thresh is throwing the hook, we should know beforehand that he's throwing the hook. So we can mm -hmm. dodge it, right? So everything in League is about how far ahead in the future can you see. Mm -hmm. That way you won't even try and help this dude. I'll just ulti leave and you're dead. If you're dead, you're dead, right? But if you try and like half-heartedly help, like you know yeah. that if you full help, you lose. And if you have help, you lose. And you, I mean, like you just fucking have help, right? It's like, this is just, <laughs> it's just dude, right? And you're like, bro, what was that? You're 100% correct. He is griefing out of his mind. Now it's your job to clean up the trash, basically. Like, you know, deal with it, right? That's, that's basically what it is. So just make it less worse. Why is he pinging your item? Yeah, I have no idea. I'm like, you mean the most standard Tristana item in the game? I don't. Yeah, he's this guy was he's throwing me off. He's but, literally uh... actually actually dog. Okay, you instantly mute these guys and don't worry about it. All right, they're just so bad. They're just playing so. They may not necessarily be like be bad in general, but they're playing bad, and you can't let that like make you lose your mind because then you can't play the game. <laughs> All mm -hmm. right, then you actually can't play the game. You follow what they do, can't play the game. Okay, this is what we're talking about right here. It's not a clicking error, right? It's not a clicking thing. It's a yeah. what? It's a what? Just a, a preparation. Like I could have yes. buffered my W. I could have been looking for it for a dodge. I could have. It was okay, here's the a, secret. A lot of stuff bad there. Here's the secret. I pause here. I know they're gonna look for a hook dive. From here, how come? They they see set. Uh huh. And what else? Um, our jungler's dead. No counter. Right, our, our team is like top side, yeah. and their team is top side. So the only play is hook or flay into fizz, right? That's it. Mm -hmm. So let's watch this, knowing this idea, okay? Let's watch this, knowing this, this, th what their play bot is. It's a hook or a full dive with fizz coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think? Uh, so, I mean, clearly I see he's going to go for the hook and try to you know dive 2v1 yeah uh, and that's it all right? i'm thinking about is trying to clear this wave right exactly and fizz is coming again fizz is coming again I, but by the way the instant they trade with you fizz is coming and it's gonna all flash out to you or some some shit yeah right? i think in a in a good game fizz is definitely coming this game right. this fizz was terrible but so yeah. what was the issue here what, what are you trying to do here check it out what are you just trying to do here uh deter him from diving by the idea was this bomb is going to proc while he's standing in the minion wave, thin out the wave, thin out his HP, and <laughs> yeah. then he'll be less confident to dive me. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to stand there now, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we're just, we're, just, we're just hitting him. We don't want to be fighting, right? We're just yeah. dead no matter what happens. It doesn't matter what happens here. You're dead. I mean, you flash, it doesn't matter. Renekton's here already, by the way, right? Fast forward, Renekton's coming. Where is he? Oh, my God, he didn't show up. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's also, it's kind of difficult um, to cement these ideas because a lot of times I'll be like, ah, oh, clearly right now their mid laner is going to roam down, but like, <laughs> they yeah, don't but have maps, bad, right? so they don't know. But then they're bad, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we didn't get, I mean, we got punished, but not as hard yeah. as we could have been, right? Yeah, we, sh we should have been dead a couple yeah. times over. Yeah, we, we see Renekton right yeah, there. Yeah, Renekton's yeah. pathing, right? It's crazy. Fish yeah. should be on the way too. They're just, they're just, they're just, they're just it's funny, they're just bad, but like, they're, yeah. we're still getting, they're still getting our flash somehow, right? Their team, yeah. I guess, is still getting our flash. So I think we're not having so much of an issue as like the macro stuff because I mean it's pretty clear you know this these concepts it's more of the dude he's hooking you right now right mm -hmm. kind of angle and how are we supposed to play around that right so the classic uh you need to know it's coming and then prepare the side the side the, uh, prepare the line okay mm. like this i want yeah, your practice the scripted level the scripted level okay like slightly behind the this this line this is mm -hmm. the best that's always the best It'll make them lose their mind, okay? If you like, so for example, you're running straight at him and he hooks you and you dodge like that, he's gonna be like, dude, you're scripting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's great. So, <clears throat> okay, let's fast forward. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. So I think we can say, um, I think we can say something like, um, let's back it up actually. Let's start like making a, a, a potential habit, a potential fix for this idea.
Okay, so let's say um, right now our focus is on like clearing the wave, mm. right? But there's an issue with this because we should know they're diving. Their plan is to dive, mm -hmm. right? So it's kind of like twofold, right? How can we shift our mindset from think shift our focus from oh they're they're gonna we need to clear the wave to they're gonna dive? And I think part of it is. Okay, when you look at the map and you say they're diving, it's not clear the wave or not clear the wave. It's they're diving and then we can figure it out from there, right? Or we're diving them or it's 2v2 bot or something like that. I think we need to say what the situation is before default clearing the wave. I think that's a good way to put it, if that makes any sense, right? And once we have this, then it's like, okay, how do they do it? Thresh hook, mm -hmm. right? So you watch the thresh and you're like, okay, he's going to hook right when that minion disappears. So we dodge, right? Yeah, honestly, he could have even just walked up played and by the time i run away or go under my tower chunked renekton yeah so yeah it's... yeah renekton's behind you you have to use exhaust and try and get away right so yeah, yeah. Um, so map state into kind of the tools they have to start right i think i think okay a good way to, another way to put it is um uh, instead of thinking about clearing this just only about clearing this it's look at the map and because mm -hmm. of what you see here what am i supposed to do yeah because you see just that we're tower. playing yeah. top yeah he's perfect exactly because they're diving they're actually about to dive you could say stay until you see Fizz move, but I think that's a little bit um, greedy because the uh, counter to that is Thresh walks forward, flays your jump, so you know, you know, all that, all that shit, right? So I, I would rather just not deal with all that. So okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, fast forward, fast forward. We're going mid here. We have Trindamir. I mean, this game is not looking bad. Wow, Ezreal's zero damage. What's happening, bro? This guy's trolling. He has a frozen heart before man immune, dude. Yeah. This can't be real. These guys cannot be human. This can't be real. Yeah. And what the fuck? So like I, part of me feels like I am not nearly as bad as this Ezreal. Okay, okay, so okay, why okay, am okay, I the okay, same okay, okay. as him after okay. 200 games? Okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. I figured out. Okay, so what we're talking about today is like all these diamond and master players, they can't do this. Because they have no eyes, okay? I'm going to teach, teach you how to open your eyes, okay? Uh, so right here, you guys fight for the wave, you're all going to die. Mm -hmm. How come? Yeah, I, I do not want to fight this. I, I think I start pinging people in a minute here, and um, we know they're all in... We just saw them all in their topside jungle. I think we're about to end the whole game here with our Trindamir in base and our Elise yes. on red. Trindamir is in base, right? Well, Elise yeah. on red is not that, bad, that, not that bad of an issue, right? How come? Well, she can join fairly quick. Yes, she can. There's counterplay. She's gonna show up with a yeah. cocoon, right? But Trinomir in base is an issue, because what's the counterplay? How does he do something from base? He, he doesn't. He he, he spins for about right? twenty seconds and then right? he's in the fight. Exactly. Exactly. So if you let's say for example Trinomir is here, what yeah. happens if you pull a gank mid? Uh, he gets pressure bot, and that's he's, good. We just we take the, the pressure and yeah. yeah. He's gonna try and go all the fucking way, right? But since he's in base, this is FF, right? Yeah. So here's the thing. You need to know, like, like the black and white, I don't give a fuck what happens here. We are not going in unless it's literally instantly killing someone, right? Mm -hmm. So when I see this, right, and Seth's, like, not instantly killing that dude, that Ezra's not dead yet, right? This yeah. is the FF, right? So this is, this is, the, this is the whole, like, your, your team is doing... He gets hooked. Uh, he's dead. Yeah. There is no saving this guy. He is, this is a loss, right? There is no saving this dude. That's the whole, like, preparation before your team even does something, like, down here. We know, like, this is always going to be bad because Fizz is going to come bot, right? You know, that yeah. no matter what, it's always bad because I don't know if Renekton has Ignite, but let's say he has Ignite, right? So it's just Fizz. We know it's bad because no matter what, we're going to die to Fizz later. You just leave him. 100%. Instantly, instantly bad, right? You cannot be sucked into this garbage, basically. Right? Yeah. It's actually not that bad. He I said, almost saved that, by the way. Oh, Cocoon! Your teammates are smurfing. It wasn't good enough. So yeah, we're all dead. Oh, <laughs> you died! You yeah. died! Holy shit, you died because of it. That's fucking funny. Yeah, this is a disaster. Um, there is there is no gameplay here. And he's like, says like trying to pin you to walk up to ulti this dude, right? But yeah. you're slowed for a thousand years from the Kha'Zix W. So yeah, there is no play here, right? All right, what did what'd you get slowed by? You got slowed by something. Let me w, see. Kha'Zix W. Was it actually a Kha'Zix W? That guy has zero cooldown or what? Oh, no, it, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't Kha'Zix W. What was it? Fizz E oh, does Fizz not slow, e. does it? Does it actually slow? I don't know. Does he have red buff on or something? I, does W maybe act? Uh, I have no idea. Dude, you got slowed by something. No way. Fizz E actually slows. Wait, I'm trolling. I actually didn't know that. 
Bro, honestly, I didn't know that because it usually just kills you, right? So. Yeah. It for sure slows. It for sure slows. Oh, wow. interesting. I should have known that from the Bruiser Fizz days. Um, but yeah, uh, we got slow. So there was no real play there, right? So here's the thing. The only reason why you died is because you didn't leave him to die. Yeah. That's it. Right? I mean, that, that, that's basically... This is literally a mirror image of what happened bot. Mm -hmm. So, I think you need to have in your mind what the map state is and what you're supposed to do so that when things happen on your screen, you know how to react instantly. Like from here. We know Trinity is in base. No matter what, do not want to fight. So mm -hmm. that when these guys are sprinting in, I'm like, nope, you guys are, you guys are dumb. You guys are trolling, Right? I, there's no you know, no universe where I help you. He gets hooked. Okay, you're dead. I don't care. I'm not even going to try an ulti. Because what happens here is Fizz Flash ultis you, for example. Mm -hmm. And they kick a force, right? <laughs> like, it doesn't matter what elo it is. This is losing. It's just in the higher elo, it's losing harder. To like gotcha. some flash play or some, some crazy shit, right? So, mm -hmm. no matter what, we can't do this, right? <clears throat> and then you're like typing it like, you, like you're correct. Yeah, you're, like you it matters though. Correct, yeah. But it does yeah, it doesn't matter. Like you just don't even don't even waste your I've like, actually your disabled breath. my chat since this game just yeah. to stop myself. He's like he is a hundred percent wrong, but it just doesn't it doesn't matter in the game. Like you you just need to keep playing, right? So Yeah. Uh okay, what's happening here? Um uh, they're in our bot side jungle or something. Okay, I see Elise. Okay. Mm. Set is going the wrong way, by the way. You're face taking you're face checking a fizz, right? So this is a classic where you're going to rotate. And um, we're gonna just face tank their whole team. Oh, sorry, not Fizz, uh, Kha'Zix. Uh, this is a classic. Okay, so this is, it's pretty funny because everything we're gonna talk about today apparently is gonna be map awareness based prediction. Mm -hmm. You need to know what's gonna happen before it happens. Okay, so like in this example, we know that everyone that's not called Ezreal and Fizz are over there. Yeah. How do we know? Well, because we have. Full vision of the bot side jungle, and so like, where else could they be? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're making a play in our jungle. Must mm -hmm. we see Fizz and Ezreal? Therefore, Thresh, Kha'Zix, and Rankin are all there, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. All of them, guaranteed. Okay, so I want you to imagine where are they right now? Because we see Renekton. Let's imagine Renekton's on a lease. Kha'Zix and Thresh, where are they? Uh, they are. Well, Kha'Zix is probably. Somewhere in that topside jungle, and Elise is on top of Renekton. Okay, I want you to pick the worst spot for them to be for you, specifically. Uh, well, uh, on rewatch, probably uh, the midside brush to the this, left, and right they here. just pop right over it. 100% they're, they're right there. They're 100% yeah. right there. This is a flash play lantern, a hook lantern, doesn't matter. Cause this <laughs> jump over, ISO Q, it doesn't matter. Right? Yeah. Elise is fighting, and it's, it's fine. We can't, you can't fight that. How come? Why can't we? Why can't we go help this? Uh, there's just by the time we take a safe path to get there, Renekton gets out. Ah, uh, but isn't it four v three? What's wrong? Uh, I mean that's gonna rely on our Pantheon ulting in okay. and also Set walking yes. first. Panth and Set have to move in order to do this. So if you watch yeah. this, what's happening here? You see that? Uh, Set's going to kill okay. Israel. So that means what does that mean for us as a team? What are we doing? We're not going to fight the 4v3. For whatever reason, we should be, but mm -hmm. we're not, right? So what should we do? Uh, either just push mid or... There you go. I guess we could try to look for the He's Ezreal, but He's that's probably mid. a low that's... priority yeah, chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We look dive mid, push Ezreal, dive Fizz. These mm -hmm. are the only plays. Top, bot side. Because your set has decided, you know what? Fuck the jungler. I'm going... I'm just running over into their jungle, mm -hmm. right? He's trolling, again. But that's not your fault. You just have to deal with it, again, right? So... You can't, you can't, you can't go by yourself. No matter what path you take, you can't. It doesn't work, right? And unless Kha'Zix uses his jump, but if Kha'Zix is using his jump, what do you think is happening to your team? <laughs> yeah, they're probably getting one they're, shot. They're probably already dying, right? So there's no yeah. way you can move, right? So when you move here, it's impossible, guaranteed, mm -hmm. right? Because they could be over the wall anytime. And in fact, they are over the wall, and yeah. it doesn't matter how bad they play it, it's winning, right? So mm -hmm. this is one of those things where we need to know what to do based off the map information from 30 seconds ago okay and if you if we can't do that then it's on the game's unplayable because your knee-jerk mm -hmm. reaction is almost always going to be wrong it's not always wrong but when it is wrong you lose the game <laughs> right yeah so gotcha guys gotcha. see like damn there's a there's a fight going on here right and that's like what most players see when they look at the map mm -hmm. you have step one down we look at the map that's good shit that's good shit right now step two we need to look at the map better 
mm-hmm. right? Better being, you know exactly who's here, Thresh and Kha'Zix, and they're waiting the bush for you. So therefore, Set has to go first, right? So it's, it's, basically, uh, it's basically what needs to happen so that you can't just insta-rotate. Just like how yeah. if Set goes in, you can't insta-help him because we know Fizz is pushing mid, right? So yeah, this is a disaster. Um, yeah, our uh, our set is at, this set is so bad. He's blaming you. It's kind of funny. Yeah, um, yeah. Don't don't worry about those kind of people. Okay, they're just they're just delusional at best. So they're actually crazy. Oh, we saw Ezra. So you guys are forcing. This is good. We need something to happen here, guys. Come on, Panther Ulti is coming in, guaranteed. We need to find some kind of jump here. Um. Uh, oh, we need to fight this. Oh. Okay, we should talk about this. Let's talk mm-hmm. about this. What is happening here? Uh, I'm trying to get into the fight, uh, but I ran into a Renekton. Okay. And I took an interesting path. So, let's talk about, first off, let's do the whole, what does the map base look like? What does the map state look like? And, you know, someone said Ezra's top. So, therefore, what should we do? Um, Well, set up for drag is my current thought here. Push push Mm -hmm. mid, set up for drag. Okay, let's use stronger words stronger words like force we're gonna force like okay in their face like what's the difference between like forcing and not forcing just a strong engagement right so let's say uh let's say we have mid push and all five of them are here Mm -hmm. but then we set up dragon we just chill it right we're gonna we're gonna take it slowly right we're gonna like Use our at least at least goes first, right? Sets behind her, right? We have like structured format, right? Mm-hmm. Where we play, we play. Um, what's it called? Um, precisely, right? But let's say they have two people top. Mm-hmm. Do we have to play like that down here? No, we just dogpile. Yeah, we need to we need to go. We need to fucking catch someone right now, right? Mm-hmm. We need to play fast. So when you see Ezra top, it's we need to force this side. Okay, that's what I want you to think. We're gonna force. Okay. Similar to how when your team is playing top side. And you're alone at the tower. What are they gonna do? They're gonna force bot. They're gonna force. They're not gonna go fishing. They're gonna force like hard mm-hmm. force, right? With flash play into fizz. Okay, so that's yep. that's the kind of mindset I want you to be in, right? We need to we need to actually look to make something giga happen. Okay, so uh, let's watch this fight. I want you to tell me what are some moves you can do now that you know you should be forcing. I mean, I. I s- Still am not seeing a, a good entry point into this fight because I haven't seen Kha'Zix yet. So I, I don't want to jump into the Fizz and um, Oh, Thresh. how come? What's wrong? I uh, can't. I, Let's say I'm Kha'Zix just... shows up. Yeah, if I have vision on Kha'Zix, then I feel like I can uh, do damage to someone. I didn't see if Fizz used his E or not. Uh, oh, there it goes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, but like my main target right now would be Thresh is the easiest one to pick off. So that's yeah. who I would want to go for. Imagine but I'm afraid if, uh, that Kha'Zix is in that bush right, right. behind there. Imagine if Kha'Zix shows up. What is he going to do? He's going to E. Well, if I jump in, he's definitely Eing and queuing me. Mm-hmm, uh, but if mm-hmm. I don't, he's probably going to E and, and try to go for Trindamir or Set. Right. And if we just fight it normally, right, maybe we can exhaust, maybe we can't. What do you think your team's going to do if he just, if he does that? You'd like to hope, try to kill him. Oh, they're going to kill his ass. Guaranteed. It's like brainless, pretty much. They just right-click his ass, right? Mm-hmm. So, but let's say let's say we're like uncomfortable with this because maybe he can one-shot us or something, right? Mm-hmm. What about this guy? Yeah, I, I just kind of feel like uh, the only way I kill someone is my bomb. Okay. Uh, like maybe I can get a couple autos off on Renekton. I don't see us killing okay. the Renekton. This is the, this is the issue. This is the issue. You just said, I don't see myself killing him. Mm-hmm. right that's not the point right what was the whole point of this the force the force because you individually might not have the damage to kill him but with an extra person we win the fight in general right so you can't calculate it fast enough but if you dump everything into him and you exhaust him and he goes on you pantheon will finish guaranteed pantheon at least will finish but you can't calculate that fast enough right but in general terms your team will finish that's why we force 5v4 because in almost every situation, you're going to win, right? Okay. Beyond the ones where you guys get one shot or something like that. So when you push them away, it's like the opposite of what we want to do, right? From a, a, a theoretical standpoint, right? Like, look at this guy. This guy even trying to jump for you. He can't even kill you because Elise is here, right? But yeah, it's been 10 years, so now Ezra is coming. It's kind of a feels bad. Yeah. But yeah, we definitely did not want to push him away, 
right? Unless okay. he's so strong, he's gonna one v three you. I don't, I don't think he's that strong, right? Could be wrong. No, he is definitely not that strong. Do you see his items? Yeah, yeah he's got uh, no Gordrick way, and no something way. else. So yeah, I think this is kind of the. It's less about your um, mechanical movement and more about what are you supposed to be doing based on what you saw on the map, kind of. Angle. Yeah. That that forcing right. one's good. That's something that yeah uh, we 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 need a we need a like they're gonna force on us or we're gonna force on them. That's usually what the numbers means, right? Mm -hmm. Like remember, you know, you you've heard of weak side and strong side, yeah. whatever, right? Strong side, we want to force shit, so we can kill his ass. And weak side, we want to they're gonna force on us, right? For weak side bot, right? So we need to make sure we're not dying or something. We're not, we're not trading, right? So exact same concept, except um it's gonna it's gonna work for in lane, out of lane, whatever, right? This is really good. We can't really fight the dragon. You just push mid, right? Good, 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 good. Yeah. This is really good. Yeah. This is really good. We go top. Perfect. We're making money. It seems like ping you, but that was unplayable. So this set is just bad, okay? You should have muted this guy 10 years ago. Yeah, that was my mistake. All right, guys. Actually, dog. <laughs> um, this game's unwinnable now, I think. So I think from this replay alone, you can see what happens if you don't make the like correct moves based off the situation right yeah it looks unplayable basically right so mm -hmm. first was you know going through here okay that was not great but you know game yep. wasn't over but fighting at the tower yeah right and didn't immediately leave him also going to go help the fight here when mm -hmm. so is not moving right their thresh and kazix are hiding in the bush right yeah or they should be hiding in the bush right things like this well the fastest way to lose the game is the 4v5 Guaranteed, mm -hmm. right? Like you guys are actually coming back in the game if you guys fall here, but <laughs> somehow they, somehow we didn't force, right? Somehow we didn't get, we didn't, we didn't fucking fight them, right? So which, which is what we needed to. So that's kind of what we're um, looking at here. It's, it's more of like macro ideas than mm -hmm. um, than uh, mechanical ideas. Okay. So okay, let's watch this. But based off what we saw last game. The, yeah, I think I, we're going to see more examples because this game, right. I, I felt like I was in the position to carry and could not. Right, right there, right. Damn, he hit you with that. That feels bad. Yeah, when they have hella minions, Blitz can't really hook, right? Okay, let's watch. Mm -hmm. Let's fast forward. You guys should probably try and push this, but uh, it's fine if you can't. Okay, new wave. Let's slow push, right? Oh my god, game's over. What the fuck? We're literally killing the jungle. Jenna's mid! Yo! What do you think about this? Uh, I, I want to force, um, and I yeah. should probably let's go, not right? wait for Blitzcrank to, to no, try yeah, to No, let's fucking go, right? As long as he has hook, I'm fucking going, like, right now, right? So you see the issue here, right? Mm -hmm. How, what are some ways we can force on this dude? Uh, well, W. Yeah, W, we can start running at him. Mm -hmm. yeah, he shouldn't be getting XP, for sure, that's for sure, yeah. right? So, yeah, this guy, like, look, uh, there we go, boys, let's go, he's dead, right? So, see, the, the, I think the, the, the issue is not that you, you can't find the follow-up. It's that you should be the one starting shit if you have to. Yeah. Right? Um, so, yeah, he finally died. Holy shit, thank God. Uh, Jenna is not allowed to roam there. That was... Uh, <laughs> it's not allowed to roam there and Draven sitting there. Draven should be under the tower, right? Mm -hmm. So, you see how this elo, these guys don't even... I mean, these guys also don't understand the same uh, concept, you know, on autopilot, right? That Draven needs to be under the tower if his Jenna went mid, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's watch, let's watch, I mean, okay, let's watch this. Is Jenna here? This looks spicy, but uh, Jenna the jungler could be here. Maybe we missed some info here. Nope. Jenna the jungler could be here. I don't think Fiddle's here, but uh, fuck it. I'm down anyways. We can 2v2. Okay, never mind. Blitz didn't... Blitz yeah, didn't I thought he was it. going. I actually thought nah, it would have been yeah. good because the minions were far enough away that they wouldn't have aggroed. Right, right, right. But he didn't, he didn't want to because he thought... Uh, yeah, so didn't jungle know. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's usually a bait if you guys are not sure. Mm -hmm. It could be TP bait, for example. Um, that would be yeah. really bad if you guys force... And lose two waves, uh, three waves on the next wave too. That would be yeah. really bad. So it's fine, totally fine to not go for it. Uh, okay, let's watch this. You guys are fighting this, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Fiddle here. is not gonna do anything. So you guys can do this. Yeah, even if he's here, I think we win this three v three. Yep, down. Oh, he fucked up the flash yeah. and his E. Nice kill, very nice kill. You can't go for more though. Good, 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 good. Well played, well played. That was really good. I think when. It's naturally a good play. You don't have any issues executing, mm -hmm. right? Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, that was tragic. Uh, it's <laughs> fine. You're not getting. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, play it in a wave. Yeah. Oh, we're going more. You have no HP. It's actually irrelevant that we have no HP, but it's fine. So, what do we call this? 
when Fiddle is top and we're we're fighting bot. What, what what is the word we're looking for? Yeah, force. We're forcing, bro. Yeah. Look how low we are. Fucking Draven's walking in. Fuck it, dude. Kill his ass. <laughs> right? Isn't that funny? I think it's pretty funny. Mm. But it goes to show you, like exactly what we're looking for, based off the map, right? <clears throat> so yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. So yeah, the uh, that's basically the thing with the Renekton, except it's not as obvious because you 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 can't kill him. But like, look at this. Okay, look at this. This is more obvious. Look at this. Can you kill Draven here? I think we can. No, can you specifically? Oh no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But you knew that we as a team could kill him because mm -hmm. Rex is on his face, right? Yeah. It's the exact same thing with that Renekton, except that it's not as obvious to you, mm -hmm. right? But I promise you, it was it was an easy cleanup by Pantheon at least. So. <clears throat> yeah, so that's forward, okay. let's fast forward. Even if it's not easy cleanup, they'll eventually find a way to leverage, you know, the your fight with the Renekton into something better, right? Maybe through positioning or uh, get access to the backline or Renekton uses abilities, but you need to fight somehow, right? Mm -hmm. We need to be trading somehow in a 5v4, so. Gotcha. That's why fast forward. It's like chess. Have you played chess? Yep. <clears throat> like when you're up material, you want to trade. It's the same idea, right? Yep. Gotcha, the gotcha. idea that you want to be trading, you know, when we are have man advantage, we want to be trading, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, fast forward. <clears throat> um, okay, Blitz is looking for uh, fish. Wow, they really hate this Quinn. Um, nice try on the Blitz hook. But yeah, we want to be forcing bot, right? Let's fast forward. Push this, go get the dragon, hit the tower. I don't care. All this is good. All this is great, right? Whatever you guys do here, it doesn't matter what you do, it's winning, right? That's the idea. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Well played. You got all the Tristana mechanics down. Good, good, good. Push the tower. We can probably just take this. Fiddle's coming back, right? Sure, sure, sure. Fiddle's potentially here. I'm still kind of down. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I'm still kind of down. Fiddle's dead. Oh? What the fuck? How'd he die? Uh, oh my something god. Something top lane somehow. He died top. What the fuck? Okay, yeah. Um, we just forced bot again. Wow, isn't that funny? The jungle shells up top, we just keep forcing bot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just dead. Holy shit. So is this game I, not I feel over? like at this point, if you if you pause the game and told me a percentage chance that we win or lose, I, I would tell you a 95% chance we're going to win yeah, this game. Yeah, you guys, you carry this. You, if you don't no. carry this, we end it somehow, right? Yeah, we, yeah, somehow. And, we uh, definitely end it. And I, I, I'll give you a prediction, okay? If I try to break out, you're going to walk to it, you're going to get fiddle ultied up the ass, okay? Yeah. That's my prediction. Based on what we yep. saw last game. Based on what we saw last game, that's what I think is gonna happen. Because habits that is the exact turning point. Yeah, ha habits are the exact same over the course of however many games you play. You're gonna play the exact same way, but given the same situation, right? And so our job is to find a way to identify the pattern and improve on it, right? So okay, mm -hmm. let's keep going. Um, okay, let's talk about this, right? I mean, you guys are kind of you know aggressively fighting. Okay, well, oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's pause here. Look at the map state. Tell me what the map state is and what you're supposed to do. So, um, I mean, we had just seen their jungler on that ward that just expired on mid lane, sure. uh, but we don't know where their mid or top is. And uh, we should probably just look to farm this wave, receive this wave, I guess. I think I've heard you say. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Without trying to, to force anything, because we know their jungler is in the area. We don't know where their mid and top are. Okay, so let's think about it. Okay, so let's start with our allies. Do we have any allies that are not here? Like, unable to do anything on the map. That's a good way to put it. Are there any allies in base is a better way to put it. Yeah, cat. Okay, cat. Therefore, who's forcing on who? Uh, they're going to try to force on us. Okay, that's it. That's, as fa that's how fast we can do it. Okay? Because mm -hmm. what you said is correct. And it leads us to the same conclusion. We just want it to be faster. Right? Gotcha. They okay. will force on us. It's not us receiving the wave. It's they're going to try and do some crazy shit before cat's on the map. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's the whole thing where you're going to clear the wave bot. No, 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 no. They're going to force on you, and then you go figure it out from there. Right? Okay. Yeah, They're I should probably also be you. a little more cautious here because I have like 3K in the bank. Oh, yeah. I mean, you you touch that minion, you better know that Fiddle can't ult you from the side. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you saw him on the word you said, so you didn't know that, in fact. So mm -hmm. we're good. Right? So when Blitz is going for a hook, how do you feel about this? Very bad. Uh, like, I, I think actually maybe if he hits the hook, we have like the smallest second to one shot him yes. and then did, immediately run. We cannot follow up. Yeah, did you see what happened here? You're fighting the Draven and the yep. Fiddler immediately ulted you. I was really yep. gonna bait by you, but I still think uh someone might be dying here. Yeah. I think this um, one is safe, but uh, right. So so okay, so this it's oh, interesting, right? Because you played that so well. You traded with the Draven to bait. 
the fiddle ult, we're out. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Except that it's not, right? How come? Blitz ended up dying from it. And okay. we just lost a bunch of uh, mid pressure. Why can't we? we why we is there no counterplay? Even uh, though you giga outplayed them. Uh, I don't have the items purchased to 1v3 this. Uh, true, but it's related to what we just talked about. Uh, the We don't have teammates nearby to help us? No, not necessarily nearby. What was the term? What was the kind of phrase we were, phrase we were using? It's not that Quinn's not nearby. I mean, she can do stuff on the map, right? Mm -hmm. Who's not on the map? Katarina. Okay, so no matter what happens, you're going to lose. Mm -hmm. Almost no matter what happens. Okay. Yeah, sure. Blitz can like land a hook and one, we one shot him. Like that doesn't happen normally, no, right? They're gonna yeah. force on us, we're gonna lose. So look, you giga outplay these guys, it doesn't matter, you're gonna lose. For the sole reason that it's for it's just you just have no mid laner. He's still on the way to lane, right? So let's say for example, Katarina is right here and you baited the shit out of this 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 gank. What do you think is gonna mm -hmm. happen? Uh, I would like Kat to realize that there's a Fiesta mid and come and clean it up. Yes, she's gonna she's gonna path mid. Rex is pathing mid. Quinn's coming from behind. They're all dead, mm -hmm. right? But because that you because you got a teammate in base, isn't is you're, this is not gonna work? Ever, yeah, there's, right. Yeah. So I think that's the important kind of idea to realize. Look how well you no play this and Blitz. Dreamin still killed someone. Yeah. And you lost half your health, so you can't clear the way. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Right. So that's how important it is to know who's forcing on who at, at, based off the map. Because this shit is gonna like I mean if you guys fucking hopefully you guys win this. Okay, good, 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 good. But yeah, it's like it was super dicey, right? Yeah. Wow. And like Draven got a kill. So you and, know Yeah, worst case who... scenario, Draven gets to cash in some extra. Right. So who Draven won at the bucks. end of this play? Even though you baited Fiddle Ulti. Definitely they did. End of the it's, team. Yeah, Draven that's crazy, specific. right? It's you 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 guys giga played super well, it doesn't matter. Right? Numbers is that strong. Okay. So if there's anything you take away from today, it's you need to know. What's happening based on the right? Are there any allies in base? Any enemies in base? And we need to play off that kind of idea, right? What? Mm -hmm. Who is forcing on who? If if anyone. Sometimes you know everyone's on the map, so there's no real force, right? Then you then you can try and bait the fiddle ulti, right? And so that your Katarina and your jungle can do something. But mm -hmm. yeah, if they're the ones trying to force on you guys, we really should AFK under the tower <laughs> for yeah. the most part, right? Play it more safe based on what we know. Oh, this is not allowed. We should just jump immediately, right? <clears throat> yep. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to bait them a little more because uh, I think our Rex nice. pinged he was coming. Okay, you have and cleanse. Then... Oh no! Yeah. It doesn't it matter. It's still cleanse win. And it's another, I didn't think about where Fiddle could be. Right, right, right. So, okay, this idea. Okay, so I want you to I want you to uh, look at the contrast between the last time they forced on you and this time when your whole team's on the map, right? I want you to watch Rex, Katarina, and Quinn. Okay, Quinn is going the wrong way, but she she eventually comes. <laughs> I saw her go the wrong way for half a second, bro. Where are you going? Come kill these guys. Thank you. Now, how much closer is this fight? Incredibly Look close. This. this is crazy. We actually win, right? Do we win? Wow, it's fucking close. I can't tell. We won. Yeah, I think Look, we won. Yeah. So even though you died in this play, we won the fight. The last play, you didn't even die, and we lost the fight, right? Mm -hmm. that's that's kind of how important it is to have people on the map before you guys do stuff right so yeah uh, and in terms of how we actually play this better i would say like you said you know fiddle is fiddle is here right so like over the wall that's one thing yep. to worry about i would also say um uh you don't have to be that cheeky in bringing them over i honestly just fuck it just we just need to know fiddles here <laughs> basically. yeah i didn't see that right? uh i see it now but the rex i uh right. walk at it didn't notice true, it again. True, true, true. But I mean, you're never going to see that. You're going to be watching these guys, right? Yeah. There's no way you're going to spot that, right? I'll be, you need to focus on dodging the bind like you did, right? So <clears throat> you could say, um, you know, you just assume jungler's in the worst spot for you. So like in the bush. Yep. Right. So that's basically it. Um, but yeah, that was a lot better. Even though you died, that was a lot better than the one before. Because mm -hmm. from a theoretical point of view, from a strategic point of view, we're fine fighting this. Totally fine. Team is ready to counter, right? Whoever wins yep. is based off how the fight plays out. We got right. our, our, I guess, our primary damage of uh, fourth stack bomb. Uh huh. And Katarina went yep. uh, went nuts. And Rex has a hell of damage. And Quinn too. You guys are strong mid game. So okay, what do you think I'm gonna say about this? About this right here. Okay, I'm gonna pause here. Just tell me what the situation is and what we're supposed to do.
uh, our situation is we've got one member off map, uh, and yep. so we've just got to chill out. Just wait. Just wait. Done. That's it. Right? We just wait. Wait one wave. That's fine. Right? We're just chilling. You could make an argument that Gwen has no TP, so you say, fuck it. We can 4v4. I think that's fine. Right? But when in doubt, just wait. Right? So I think it's fine for you guys to be doing something here. Uh, but just know that when in doubt, you should you should definitely be uh, wait until Quinn's on the map. Because this is a classic. Whoop! Gwen comes here and Quinn is stuck clearing the wave. Yep. Right? So... Wait, is that actually what's happening? No, it's not. We have a pink ward, so we're good. But yeah, that's a classic, okay? A classic with Malphite, Orn, whatever, fucking any top laner, Camille, Renekton. Yeah, I mean, you've seen it all, okay? You've seen it all, so I don't really have to uh, give you examples. You know what I'm talking about, right? It's yeah. really good. You guys didn't do some crazy shit there. Good, good, good. Okay, now we can go together. There's a, a hook on an attempted Morgana Black Shield target. Yeah, good luck. Okay, we baited the Fidelity. Oh, you're going for Draven? Yeah, Not I kind of didn't see a way I'm into down. the fight. No, that was really and good. So... That was really good, right? 10 out of 10. Fido has no ulti, well, obviously. Wow, you kill them all. This is amazing. That was 10 out of 10, bro. Very nice, very nice. No changes necessary. Push mid, even better. Let Katarina kill it. No, I'm just kidding. Katarina does no Varen damage. <laughs> or dragon yeah. damage, I should say. I think that's what I realized. Kill it, get the wave, go home. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. That sequence right there was you actually hard carry with that sequence. Okay. Let's watch this. Is everyone on the map? Yes. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Let's keep going. Honestly, it seems like in, in Diamond 4, we just make sure everyone's on the map. <laughs> Doesn't even matter where they are for now. Just we need to make sure people are not fucking griefing when someone's in mm -hmm. base. Okay, let's fast forward. Okay, we see that uh, they are ARAM, so uh, Rexa is making topside play. That's fine. Oh, no one's covering top. They're trolling. XD? Yeah. You, all you have to do is do nothing, we win. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're doing the Herald, sure. Oh, this is good. They push mid again. I mean, this game's over, right? This game's pretty yeah. much over. All right, they're ulting mid now, right? Only play. Oh, okay. What do you think about this? <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, we need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. Oh, Part of me shit. thought this was fine because we saw, um, in a second, we'll see their top laner bot, and we just saw their, I think, support top lane. Uh, and our Quinn is going to beat a Morgana to the fight. And I, I thought we might be able to do is something she here. Is she, though? Is she, though? Okay. Um, okay, I think we need to clarify things. So, this distance between Morgana and Quinn, it doesn't matter as much as you think in the big game. Well, I thought Quinn... Uh, she presses R and zooms at the speed of light. Yeah, she does. She does. But in solo queue, some shit is happening like Quinn's not coming, basically, right? In solo queue, it's like not as perfect as that, right? Mm -hmm. So like, what would you call this tower dive? We call this a force. We're forcing a dive here. Yep. Right? And when do we want to force in general? When we know we have man or power advantage. Yes. Numbers advantage. Uh, usually, right? Sure, power yeah. advantage sometimes, but... Usually man advantage, right? Yeah. So what happens if you force when you don't have the man advantage on the top on this side of the map? This is a one v one over here. What happens I if you force in a four v four? It's dubious at best. Dubious at best. FF at worst. You guys actually can lose the game here, right? You're gonna rock right into fidelity right here, if you guys yeah. are giga forcing. So this is 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 really concerning that you guys are going for stuff like this. So what I mean by that is like, you can they can start this, but you shouldn't int. If Fiddle comes out. When when Fiddle comes out, I should say. Right? Yeah, I think so, I was making sure to hug the, the left side just in case the ulti came. Right. It was, it was a little bit suspicious. I mean, this is almost the same thing, right? Oh, no. We saw Fiddle bot. We're good. Let's go. Let's go. We got to sprint at them. Oh, okay. Never mind. Rexay wants to counter. This is getting yeah. awkward. We need to pick something, though. You see, you see how that works? Mm -hmm. The instant they show up, you need to pick something right now. Yeah. So we got to go or we go bot. So I think Rexy confused just you. Accepted our loss, bot, and yeah. uh, got something mid. Because ideally, we force on these guys. Yes, we also exactly. get mid tower, mid tier exactly. two. Exactly. So I think Rexy got confused, and that confused you. So uh, yeah, I mean now we're moving, I guess. So yeah, good luck. Yeah, they're out. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not really your fault. That was that was more of a your jungler giving you mixed signals. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. Oh. Okay. Yeah. What am I gonna say? This is just hard int. Okay. I, I thought I had enough to one shot her and get out. I was wrong. I mean, looking at the map, you know, what do we call what do we what do we know about this? 
Yeah, I mean, we literally just saw their jungler like steps behind and the Draven steps across from her. <laughs> right. And uh, we, we have no teammates who are possibly going to make it to bail well, us out you, of this you one. Have, you have two who can come. Oh, we have two. We've got, yeah. But um, the real the issue is that... You got know, two in base. Yeah, two in base. That's it. I mean, that's it. So I don't care how this happens. This is probably losing, right? So basically mm -hmm. what's going to happen, you're going to jump in. She's going to nade your ulti or flash. You're going to have no flash, driven flash, ease. Like, you've seen this before. You've seen yeah. every variation of this in your life. I have. You jump for this. He gets away. Driven flash. We have to run. Fiddle ulti. I can't, I can't win. Literally can't win, dude. There's just no fucking way, right? So, yeah. I think that's kind of like the... Um, the big, the big picture here, okay? Oh, now it's a fiesta. Uh oh. Yeah, and I baited uh, Quinn to and death. It's a four, it's, and, a, it's uh... a four v five fiesta, right? So you see, you see how like because we're missing people on the map, the team is just gonna yellow anyways, <laughs> right? Hopefully, uh, you guys are so strong we can turn this around. Nope, Katarina died. Wow, disaster. Fuck it, kill the Janna. Oh, okay, just go anyways. Fuck it, let's go. You guys still somehow ended up winning this, <laughs> yeah. but you see how like. You told me the game should be over by this point. And you fast yeah. forward to 20 minutes and you guys are almost losing a 5v5. Well, not a 5v5, sorry. You guys are almost losing a team fight. Right? This is how this is how it happens. Okay. This 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 kind of stuff is exactly how it happens. So I think I, like, I constantly uh, kind of a repeatable thing I do, like that jump, is uh I, I'll feel like we're so far ahead, yet we're not knocking on their nexus. So I need to force something or else we're going to just slowly lose our advantage. Okay, here's, here's another way to think about it. And you're in a unique position. Carry rolls in a unique position, okay? So you say you're going to slowly lose your advantage. Where's the tab? I'm going to press tab here somewhere. Okay, you don't press tab here anywhere. Uh... Okay, I saw it. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Micro tab. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I can hit it. I can hit it. Don't worry. Boom. Okay. Look at this team. Mm -hmm. And what champion are you playing? Tristana. So when do you solo carry the game? Uh, well, six items. Okay. So the longer the game goes, the higher chance you're going to solo carry the game. Yeah, I was worried that the... Tristana's ability to solo carry a game versus Gwen Fid's ability to solo carry the game. I thought they have a much easier time executing. They they press oh, one button and win. And they press I, one button, right? Uh, and all you yeah. have to do is what? If they, if they have to kill you with one button, then what is your only job? Dodge it, flash yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Dodge away, it. Something. Then you automatically yeah. win. Yeah, exactly, right? So it's oh, fucking easy. free. Just, just dodge the enemy's skills and win the game. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, that's it, right? <laughs> It's actually free. And how, yeah. how come we're not worried about Draven scaling? Uh, he's just in the dumpster. And yeah. <laughs> didn't get ahead he's, early. He's in the shitter. Like, there's no, he's yeah. not coming out of there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, you don't have to feel anxious to end. He's, you're, you're ADC. You will 1v9 later. Unless you're playing, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, fucking Ash or something. Okay. And even Ash, if you build, like, I don't know, Wits End, maybe you can still carry later, right? So, you don't have to feel like you need to end the game. You are literally going to win the game unless they do something about it. So don't give them that something. Okay, that's that's the way to think about it, right? Mm -hmm. You you they are the ones on a time crunch, especially when you play Tristan every game, right? Our mid game yeah. is not great, so even trying to force I, something mid game is like you, you know, know I f you say Tristan's mid game is not great. I feel like her two item spike is insane. Right here, this is exactly what I mean. Right here, check it out. You will not be able to do much this fight, as you mm -hmm. can see. And how come I know that? How do I know that? <laughs> we we fought in a choke. Oh, uh, you, you specifically, you as Tristana. Uh, I have no R and uh, no cleanse. Well, you have a bomb play, don't you? I have a what? You have a bomb a play, bomb don't play? you? Yeah. Yeah, onto just the fiddle. Check it out. How good is this bomb play in the mid game? Uh, here, pretty bad. You can't do anything. It doesn't exist. Yeah. It doesn't exist. So what kind of play do you need to carry as Tristana? Uh, either not... a more open fight or a fight that I can actually get a good uh, bomb off, bomb four play. Yeah, but all the other fights will look like this. You're not going to get a good bomb off unless someone's like isolated, strangely. Mm -hmm. Like this Morgana, I guess. How does a late game just on a carry? It's not through the bomb, right? Yeah, just auto attack from infinite yeah, range. Yeah, auto attack with Q, right? So mm -hmm. that's, that's you know, you need to get those items, you're good to go, right? 
So this is why the mid game is. I think the mid game is kind of dog. Is because like this is exactly what's gonna happen, right? So That's you fair. did a good job. You didn't die. Uh, if you want to talk about like opportunities, you should probably kill Morgana, but it's probably fine because mm -hmm. uh, you know we'll be deep in enemy territory, so it's fine to not uh, go for that. I think you'll probably just yeah. die if you do that. So totally fine, totally fine. A little minor setback, but honestly, not a problem. Holy shit, you almost have IE. It's actually lit. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. And then once we get like, I don't know, Bloodthirster, Rapid, whatever you want, honestly, I'll go Rapid mm -hmm. here probably. Um, then we just win the game. Let's take a look. Oh, that's free. Nice. Very nice. Someone's over the wall. Is that Gwen? Yeah. You go mid now? Gwen. Okay. Oh, Katarina went mid. That's fine. Sure, sure, sure. Let's push mid. Oh. We didn't look for we didn't look for something. That's fine. Here's black shield. It's unlikely we can get a hook. Okay, we good here. Okay, let's watch this. Okay, a motherfucking classic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Katarina's in base. Mid. Katarina's <clears throat> in base. Hopefully, we're not doing something, guys. <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay, we waited for the whole team. Now it's a five v five. Fiddles behind them. You just yeah. wait out the Baron, we're good to go, right? No problems. Yeah, okay. no. Here's, here's Someone the did not wait the Baron. Oh, he went for a one-shot. It's not bad. They have cleanse here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. can't tell if I'm lucky or what. Uh, yeah. What do you think? I... I got absolutely destroyed by the NATO, no? Yeah, destroyed by the NATO into the fear, into the Draven ulti, and uh, I just... Okay, okay. Dead. This is one of those um, classic instincts for most players. Okay. I'll pause when it's very appropriate. We're just chilling right now, right? Mm -hmm. If they ulti us, we're like, well, how would you feel? What would you do? I just W back. Yeah, we good. We just leave, right? Yeah. Okay. One HP Morgana, how do you feel? What is, what 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 did you say? One HP Morgana, how do you feel? Uh, well, I want to do some damage, but I should probably just let her die to tower and cat. Okay, that's exactly what it is, right? You feel like you want to do damage, but logically, she's already dead. We don't have to do anything. Yeah. But where did you click? Check it out. Yeah, directly into whole enemy team. Yes, exactly. Okay, so this is the debate. When a fight starts, usually, we cannot immediately just go. Mm -hmm. For the exact reason we just saw. You just got hit by everything. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Literally everything. NATO into Draven into Fiddle into Draven. It's pretty funny, right? But yeah. that's the idea. Because you clicked forward, what happened? We got hit by the NATO, right? Yeah. So hit by the I NATO think... in range for the edge of Fiddle T. Right. So if we want to talk about team fight stuff, it's less so that your clicking is drawing you out of position, but more so that your thinking is drawing you out of position. Mm -hmm. Right? Your job is to stay alive so that you can kill people with bomb and whatnot, right? Uh, so yeah, we can't, uh, if they have not used stuff yet, they're saving it for you, right? And also, uh, guess, guess who's in base, by the way? I blitz. Okay, so, I mean, even better, right? Yeah, I'm not this sure I didn't notice that. Just yeah, that, yeah, that itself tells me I'm just chilling until I see something good, mm -hmm. right? Because even though you one-shot the cat, the Morgana, what resources did it take? The cat R. Cat R and cat Zanyas, right? So yeah, mm -hmm. we don't win this, by the way, guys. By the way, guys, we don't win this. As you can see, everyone's dying, right? And you're like, wow, how do you still one hit you? It's because the NATO yeah. and the Draven ulti, right? So, yeah. It was bad. I pop more, Katarina says. What do you think? Is this play bad? I mean, if we just take it and run away. Yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not physically bad. But how you react to it will determine how bad or good it is. Similar to yeah. how this set play... It's not that bad. I mean, he's going to die. It's fine. But if you die with him, then it's giga bad, right? So how we react to stuff that's happening on our screen is going to affect, you know, how these, these outcomes, how good or bad they turn out, right? Mm -hmm. So let's fast forward here. Uh, this is just another 5v5 in the fiddle. But uh, it's fine. It's fine, guys. Just don't walk in first, right? Good, 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 good. Oh, you put the bomb on him. What's wrong with this? Yeah, he's going to zone, is it? Yeah, okay. So yeah, don't put the bomb on him, right? So that's some Tristana stuff. Um, not sure how relevant it, this is. What do you think? How relevant is this? Uh, probably less relevant than other mistakes. Mm -hmm. I would say this is super relevant right now, though. How come? Oh yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. I just thought you meant as like a reoccurring issue I have. Oh, oh, as a reoccurring issue. Okay, good. 
I also want to talk about this because how many of your plays did you? How many plays do you have as Tristana? Uh, I don't know. Probably with, with Infinity close. Edge. Oh, um, really? Just auto. Mm, okay, so before in the mid game, it was just bomb play, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, and so now I've got two. I've got bomb play and just Q autos. And Q. Okay, and if you do this, what did you just do? Uh, I wasted one of my plays. Oh, one of them. Uh, and two. I've activated you wasted, my Q. You wasted both of them. Yeah. Right? So what do you think is going to happen in this fight? <laughs> uh, I'm going to be just kind of a normal fed AD carry without any steroids. Yeah, you have, 16, you have 16 seconds before you can do something. So let's watch. Yeah. Hopefully we can do something. But Oh, he did an hourglass. It's lit. But uh, we, have no, we have no Q here. So I don't see a play here. You have an ulti, I guess. Oh, it took you 10 years to kill that guy. Don't marry yeah, anyone. I, yeah. Oh, no. I wanted to get oh, in her little no. thing. And hey, check it I out. Guess, guess it. why she guess why she killed you. Check it out. Why do you not have enough damage for this guy? I don't have my Q up. And you don't have your bomb up. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny yeah. how that works? It's pretty funny the how that works. The bomb came right? up, but I, uh, you didn't I don't use know it, why right? I didn't use it. Exactly. Because all you're thinking about is auto attack and kiting. But yep. you're not going to kill him that way. You need Q and E. One, one of them. You need one of them. Otherwise, you're not going to win. Kiting. kiting right? Mm -hmm. Like this is, a, this is a perfect benchmark. Ready? Okay. Check her HP. You lose this, by the way. Yeah. Without your abilities. Okay, that's the benchmark. Okay. So yeah, all the. I mean, I, I I'm not gonna fault you the the EQ. I guess. I mean, I guess it went off because uh, Fiddle got uh, silenced at the perfect moment, right? It's pretty mm -hmm. funny. Um, but yeah, I would hesitate on using both my combos because how do you get the bomb off without using Q? What do, do you I think? Get the bomb off without using yep. Q. You can you can get the bomb off without using Q. I just, I'm not quite sure I know what you mean. I just press my button. Mm, how do you proc it in time? How do you proc the bomb in time? Oh, um, for hits. I see what you mean. Uh, I thought you meant literally apply it. And I'm like, I'm not oh, following here. Oh, no, no, no. Like, yeah, I can always go for... Uh, are, four regular autos are yeah, yeah. a little slow, right? Yeah. I mean, I do have the attack speed at this point where I could do it. Uh, or I could do it with the R auto combo. There's a, there's a very specific... There's a reason why Tristana takes his rune. Oh, Hail of Blades. Hail of Blades. So if your Hail of yep. Blades is up, you definitely don't need to use Q, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that is, that's kind of the idea I kind of was just trying to get at. But Yeah, um, I've kind of gotten to probably a bad habit of um, QEing because uh, your attack speed, you cast your E faster. And, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, that's, that's not a bad habit. I mean, that's really good in lane. Yeah. And mid game but it should be situational when uh, yeah late when it game though yeah late game though that's when we need to start changing it up also um if we want to talk about more Tristana ideas I was a Tristana one trick in Korea so I, I always see these but there's a better play you can make here besides aiming fiddle are you gonna just jump right to this Draven we already see the yeah. native spun up why not how many how many plays do you have you have two right mm -hmm. how how many plays is, how many how can Draven do damage to you compared to you no, I'm gonna one hit There's it. No chance. In fact, you can. Uh, never mind. I was gonna say you can be spicy and split it up, but nah, just fucking kill Draven as fast as possible, right? Mm -hmm. I would dump everything on Draven, probably. Yep. If you want to hold Q, honestly, if you're that fed and he has no shield bow, hold Q for Jenna. Fuck it, right? I'm down, mm, okay. right? But uh, that would be the play, I think. But this is also good. Front to back is also good. I just want to show you that you have options, okay? With Tristana three item, you have yeah, hella options good. with Tristana three item. So, okay, fast forward. We lost our five. It was bad. It's fine. I think. Uh, I don't know about the Lord Doms. I don't know about the Lord Doms here, but um, it's okay, I guess. I don't think you need Lord Doms, but that's just me. It's not bad. Definitely not bad. I think I would just prefer uh, Rapid Fire for the um, Rapid Fire Bloodthirster for the um, the range the survivability. Range. I think yeah. I was just nervous. Like everyone had Azonias and uh, just chunking through that right. extra armor. Well, it's perfect for the Zonias, right? Because mm -hmm. the Rapid Fire, you hit them and they can't respond. Yeah. Right. The I mean like the door doms for Zanya's armor is not doesn't really count. It's not really a thing, I think. Right. Remember, your plays are not necessarily um they're still coming I mean it's gonna help your bomb play and your, your Q play. I think it's just preference on how you wanna do it. You guys already lose this by the way. You should probably Yeah, yeah, this is You do I have like um away. you do have a player if you want it, but I think uh, Morgana has hourglass, so she's no. hourglass. Yeah, sure. so yeah. no. So yeah, yeah, yeah Rapid Fire looks really good. Play. Yeah, Rapid Fire is definitely going to be really good against Hourglass users. So, I mean, that, that, not don't worry about this. It's not really important, okay? Uh, let's back it up. I missed a lot of stuff here. Okay, Rexa is dead. 
Yeah, he went for the Morgana and got baited by our hourglass at that Baron. Keg W. Okay, we're fighting this. This is doable. I'm down. Oh, yeah. I'm down for a 4v5. Okay, I see dead people here. Yeah, I thought nice, this was actually nice. pretty good. Okay, that's it, right? Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Definitely winning. We're still winning. <clears throat> Damn, the more I look at it, the less I like the Lord Doms. It, de it definitely is not going to do anything this game compared to mm -hmm. uh, Rapid Fire. Just because they have Hourglass, right? Gotcha, gotcha. Your bomb is not a real play. Unless it's on Draven or Janna. Honestly. Yeah. Oh? We didn't fight for the dragon? What happened? Um, I felt at this point we were going to lose the fight. And I felt uh... I was not in position to join because I chose to get mid prile where my whole team like wrapped around the back of drag pit. Yeah, they kind of uh, wrapped so around. So... I tried to ping them off and said, we'll just take mid. Oh, it's like second dragon. It's and not then that they bad. all died. This is, this is not that bad. This is not that bad. Because you got the in hit. Right? <laughs> they all died. <laughs> <laughs> okay, remember... How does your team win the game? Yeah, destroying the enemy nexus. No, 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 no. Like comp wise. Uh, from this position. We get picks. And no, then... from this position. From this position. Oh. Uh, I. Who's who's the carry? Me and Cat. Mhm. Mm and did you just make money? Yeah. Did you die? Nope. We're still good, guys. Right? No problem. This is not bad. This is not necessarily a bad play. Right. It's unfortunate that your team wanted to fight anyways, but uh, yeah, they're like, what the fuck? We didn't have to fight for that. You were right. The inhib is the correct play. But your team dying is not necessarily like the worst thing in the world, okay? That's not an issue, honestly. Sounds troll, but like those, the four people who died are not the important people, all right? So okay. we actually are still totally fine, even at worst, I would say. Yeah. Let's fast forward, red buff. Uh, I know the play. Oh, I'm about to look terrible. Uh, okay. I, 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 I this here. This is illegal. <clears throat> I miss a very key part, key information oh, that was on the map. Here? Oh shit! No, did you see it? It just happened, and now I die. Wait, Gwen's over the wall, right? Gwen eat over the wall, and I didn't see it. Yeah, um, I was I was looking at our Blitzcrank oh, who was recalling. Oh no, that wasn't the real I issue though. Jump. How'd you how'd you lose half your health? The more Q. Okay, right, exactly. So apparently, when it comes to the mid game fights in a five v five, what seems to be your issue? Uh, just kind of being in a safe spot for the start yes. of them. Yes, exactly. At the start, you need to not get hit by this shit. Because mm. whose health is the most important on this team? Mine. Exactly. How do you get it back? Uh, either lifesteal, recalling. Yeah, hit people. How yeah, hard is it people. to hit people in a, in a fight to lifesteal? Very, very difficult. It's pretty hard, like right? when, uh, yeah. yeah. It's pretty hard, right? So, no matter what, your summoners and health are the most important. Mm-hmm. Right, so you can't go first. That's it. I mean, that, that's basically it. So in the fights, in a five v four, what are we looking to do? In a five v four. Yeah. Uh, well, if we're the five, we're looking to force. Yeah, we if gotta force. We're the four. And, we're looking to in a, yeah, in a escape. <laughs> okay, in a four v five, they're forcing. Okay, yeah. in a five v five, normal numbers, team goes first. That's it. Team goes first. Okay. Yeah. So you basically lost two fights off the. Well, the first one it wasn't that bad because your team cleaned up, but it was close. This one, though, we actually lost the game here because yeah. we we're supposed to pentakill out here, I'm pretty sure. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, it wasn't it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> we lost the game off this. Uh, you were fine up until this point. And now it's not fine. Now it's definitely not fine because you just died. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Feels bad. So, yeah, then Blitz is like, you should just walk with me. It's true. You yeah, should let he was go legitimately first. recalling and so. <laughs> Yeah, but that Baron is not legal. That, that Baron is not good for them. They were just baiting you, right? Yeah. They were just hitting it just so you guys would show up. They, they couldn't actually like do it and get away with it. So, mm -hmm. oh, uh, what the fuck? Okay, and I this. think we just like chain lose fights. And... Okay. Uh, late game is a little bit harder. But we should probably talk about this. Um, okay. Why do we... How do I describe this? Okay, how strong are you? At this point in the game. Incredibly strong. Almost okay. as strong as I get. How about early in the game? Like in the mid-game, early game. We're not that strong, right? Mm -hmm. So no matter what, we need to get all the waves. So we can mm -hmm. get strong. What happens when it's 50 minutes in the game and everyone is strong? Waves are less important. Yeah, fuck the waves, bro. We need to win the fight, right? So unless they're going to like literally backdoor, you fuck, you say fuck the waves and lick it. Okay? Because okay. what happens here if you go catch the wave? And you don't go aim the Draven, for example. Or you don't go help the fight. You guys, what's going to happen? They force bot. Right. And if they force bot, 
and you get a shit ton of money, usually that's really good. But in the mm -hmm. late game, that's not good anymore. How come? I pretty much have the items I need. Uh, no, not quite yet. Not quite that. Okay. If, for example, you got the inhib mid and your team, mm -hmm. all, all, the whole team died at Baron. I mean, sorry, at Dragon. You got made a shit ton of money. Mm -hmm. But your whole team died. How come it was fine? Death timer short enough. They're not going to be able to end the game off of it. Yeah, yes, exactly. They can't punish. There's no punish, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, we're still good. Now, if you go get the money here for your sixth item and your team fights and dies here, what's going to what's gonna happen? <laughs> yeah, we lose the game. They're going to end the game. Yeah, they're going to end the game, right? So uh, late game, you need to sack everything and go fight, right? Which is what you realize, but it's a little bit too late, right? Yeah, You're like, oh, I think in my fuck. head, I, and you gotta go. <clears throat> I was st still thought we were going to lose this fight um, and thought that why don't we just run it up mid? No, no, no. You can't, you can't lose the fight. You're, you, you guys losing the fight is based off one thing. What is it? <clears throat> uh, me getting yeah. caught. Can you, can, you, can you carry the fight? That's the question. Only question for these fights is can you carry the fight? That's it. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So if you're not at the fight, then it's automatically lost. Right? Uh, we should talk about this. This is like interest on stuff. Okay. Like this stuff, sometimes it's not as important this season because games end really quick. But mm -hmm. you should still know it. To practice your late game, okay? Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna tell me what you should have done differently here. I'm gonna pause. I already paused. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure what. The okay, play it's here related. Is. It's related to what we talked about earlier. <clears throat> what did we talk about earlier in the uh, the fight with the fiddle coming in and all, all this shit here, right? You remember that? Yeah, saving Jenna's my, on the side. Jenna's on the side. Not over committing, I guess, my um my my kill threats. Okay. My, my and, QE all at right. once. It's still the same thing. In fact, you have like almost like three or four plays now. Because mm -hmm. Hail of Blades by itself is a play, by the way. How come? Because it allows me the E proc. Uh no no no. By itself, without E. Oh, it's just burst. Yeah, because how many items do you have? <laughs> Five and a half. Okay. E itself is still a play. Right? Q itself is still a play. And ulti is a play now. How come? Ulti is a play now. Yeah. Uh, you can does a fair amount something. of damage. I can chain an auto with it. Yes, you can chain an auto with it. And an auto is very important right now. Right? Yeah. So, I want you to watch this and tell me how many of these patterns did you use on this Morgana? Yeah, there's the Q already. And the E. Okay. Way Q, over E, her. and Hail of Blades, right? Yeah. In fact, did you need to use any of them to kill her? No, I just needed to W in Halo Blades. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Halo Blades is the only play you need mm -hmm. there, right? And you jump okay. on Fiddle, you know, regular auto attacks, only play you need, right? You jump yeah. on uh, you jump on Draven, use all four yeah, plays. Because he has, yeah. yes, exactly. It's easy. You start to see it, right? So yeah. the late game is not easy, but this is how you can 1v9 the team fights. Is you need to know what your patterns look like and when, when you want to use them, mm -hmm. right? Because now, you can't fight for 14 seconds, right? So if you watch this and you fight the Draven, auto loss, right? Which is what's yep. happening here, right? Oh, you just chunked away all your health. Oh, you almost died. Holy shit. Yes, yeah, now yes. it looks like, wow, now you really can't do anything, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the, the main, uh, the main um, concern. One of the two concerns I have for your fighting in the uh, mid late game, okay? Because this Draven is not stronger than you, but he, he became stronger than you because you used everything. Mm -hmm. Right, and he has his Q. Actually, he is stronger than you by half an item. Yeah, he's got full items Actually, now. wait, this, is, this doesn't count. This doesn't count. Yeah. So you got this. I, I thought it was still pretty even in terms of what you want. I think I would have won it. Uh, yeah, but it, uh, it's, it's now the next question is, both of you guys have everything up. Who is faster? Yeah. I mean, I think I'm faster. Yes, you're faster. Uh, I think my right? Hail Blade uh, yes. E into R combo. Well, just... I, I guess you don't have Hail Blades after using a Morgana, but... Sure, you know, sure, sure. But with even, the Q, though. With your Q, even though. Even that, yeah. It's faster for sure, right? So you would win. And then he comes out of GA, you ulti, auto attack, boom, done, right? That's yep. classic. But yeah, I think uh, if there is late game team fight stuff to work on, it's one, you need to be safe. Like, mm -hmm. remember you were a giga late to this fight and you still could have killed them all. Yeah. So safety is number one, Okay. And that, two, uh, the, you need to QE, hold your place. That's a good concept. I, right, right. I never holding, thought about the skills like that. Holding on to your patterns, right? I mean, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of hard for you to practice this stuff because you don't get the late game that often. But yeah. back when I played Tristana, late game happened every <laughs> single game. Season 7, yeah. Art and Sensor. It was late. So yeah, uh, 
definitely not an easy thing to learn, but that's that, that's how you would figure this stuff out, okay? And then um, let's look at one last one. Okay. Uh, but do you have any questions as we're going through this? We'll just skim, we'll skim through this. Um, that's all fine. I do have a question actually on a previous video of yours. I don't know if you want to... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? Um, so it was a, another coaching you had that I was watching. Let me just ping you the timestamp here. Um, and it was this guy who was going to kill a, um, a Silas in Dragon Pit. He was Kaisa. And I play, uh, have played in the past decent amount of Kaisa. And I was confused at the order of operations that you said mm -hmm. didn't click in my head. And so I was hoping you could explain it again. I think when you explained, like, how do you kill this guy? Um, it was, like, starting with Q. Yeah, Q first, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. that It doesn't click in my head. Uh, okay, so... so I, I, let's see. Let's, uh, I was see. imagining the, the kill combo is um, hail of blades into three proc QW. And so that the W then uh, procs the passive... I don't know. Right here, that's it. <laughs> yeah. This part. The missing health. Yeah, yeah. on the uh, plasma passive. Yeah. So before you proc the passive, the Q needs to go off first. That's it, right? Okay. And is it just you want to lead with the Q? Because I was kind of thinking, dump the hail of blades, then do the Q. Well, Q I, can I... Q can go at the same time, and you have to remember that your Q cooldown is what? actually not that long. So the faster you use it, the faster you get the second one. All right, this and is going to sound stupid, one, but right? but can I Q an auto? Yeah, of course. I mean, Q has nothing to do. It doesn't stop your auto attacks at all. Right? Oh, okay. Q that, goes with I anything. No, right? despite playing like 100 games <laughs> with Kaisa. Yeah, it has zero, um, what's it called? It has zero cast like animation, zero cast timing. Right? Okay. So, when I was like, yo, you got to Q first before you proc the passive, bro. That's what happened. He just did. Right. He, he yep. went for the execute with this guy's like full health, right? So. That then then this guy gets away because you know he didn't execute. You didn't execute. Look, that's execute damage, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. Okay. I appreciate that. We can pop back. First, uh... right? Yeah. That's that's basically it. You need to make sure you get the uh, execute damage. Oh, this guy's dead as fuck. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Fast forward. Fast forward. It really looks like a. Um... Oh, you're crazy. It really looks like a minion thing. Yeah, if, you I think I die the, here. if you exhaust the vein, you could. Uh, I uh I I didn't run presence. Uh, I've been running um. That's okay. Triumph. For a while it's and okay, uh it's okay. rat mana that's okay that's okay that's okay because you tried to w out i saw but uh, yeah yeah it's fine it's fine it's fine not bad not bad i'm down i'm down to uh into kill not bad mm -hmm. fast forward sure 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 uh we have no flash here but we're probably safe just don't get like pulled right by swain yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, good 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 so like uh let's observe your clicking here when you know swain's going for the thing oh that's a little bit ambitious <laughs> Okay, that's okay, right? This is diagonally away from the skill shot, right? A little bit more horizontal is good, I would say, but you had the mm -hmm. right idea. <clears throat> you had the right idea. Let's fast forward. Uh, this is a gank. You have no bomb. This doesn't work, guys. Ah, actually! Is that ulti? Anyone? Anyone? Bro? Oh, God. Okay. It, that saved him from the third you auto. actually saved him. Yeah, you actually saved him. Oh, my God, you're crazy. I actually like it a lot. I actually like it a lot. Fuck it, just kill him. Actually, maybe it was bad. <laughs> I can't ah, remember shit. if this ends up well. Honestly, I like the killer instinct. Just jump out next time, right? Yeah, like I think I way, thought Vi had the aggro, and uh, then was like, shit, I have the aggro. Yeah, but either way, you should just jump this way, right? Yeah. So, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I, don't, I, I don't mind. I don't mind going for stuff like this, okay? It's better to look for the kill than to just AFK. Because that way you can learn from it. Because like, oh... Next time, you just need to jump out of the tower, right? And we're good to go. So, oh, what's happening here? Oh, you killed this guy. Exhaust? Very nice. This is why I took exhaust, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so that time you missed the kill on Ezreal, I'm not concerned, okay? It doesn't seem like it's a common thing, okay? Mm -hmm. But this, the 4v5 stuff, the you look at the map, and it tells you if you need a force or not force, that stuff is probably a lot more important, right? Yes. Because um, it, seems, it seems more critical. And the stuff where we're first in the team fight, also more important. Because we are hella losing fights there. Oof. Yeah, so, lost you lost vision. The, you uh... lost vision. It's fine. Yeah, it's. I would not worry about that. Okay. <clears throat> Fast forward. Next time, just uh, jump on his face, I guess. <laughs> then flash the condemn if she has condemn still. Okay. 
Keep going, keep going. Oh, this is good, honestly. Your Tristana experience is showing. Uh, you can't get that cannon, pretty sure, right? Unless you want to die uh, for it. Yeah, no. Oh? Uh, Kha'Zix, I just saw Kha'Zix, so this is good. Nice. I would flash for that. Yep, very nice. Yeah, I don't think I actually need the flash, yeah, but I, I was worried about the tumble, and I didn't no, know what no, cool that was. No, no, I think, yeah. I think flash is probably fine. I, mean, I was also surprised that stun reached. I thought I had walked out far enough, but yeah, yeah, clearly yeah, it's, not. It's fine, it's fine. This is good. That was good. Good play, good play. And uh, right when Lux got hit, the Kha'Zix showed up on the map. Don't know if you saw it, but it's pretty mm -hmm. funny. It looked like it was a fat Lux is just giga dead. I quick check the map a second time, and you see that Kha'Zix is on the Rift Hero. <laughs> so this is totally fine. But it's not fine if you don't see Kha'Zix, right? Yeah. Unless you can just kill Vayne and say fuck it anyways. Oh, this is a good roam. Good timer. I'm down. Yeah, I felt real strong because I just got my mythic. Yeah, good, good, good. And then you just jump in, right? Yeah. Nice. Oh, you don't even have to jump. Great. 10 out of 10. Uh, you should have, Zed should have gone by, but it's fine. Yeah, I think I tried to ping him to go there, but oh. then... Dude, you are smurfing. What the fuck? This game is over. Yeah, this oh, one was what? a stomp. You are just, you are just 1v9ing this game. So yeah, it seems like there's exactly two ways you lose a game. You're either 4v5 or you don't know what to... Or, or your team is 4v5ing and you go along with it. Or you're in, you're up first and you instantly die, <laughs> right? You go, you go up first and you instantly die. So this seems to be the two ways you lose your your games here, because everything else looks at least decent, right? Mm -hmm. Sure, you I can like, like play the fights better with damage. Oh, yo, what's up? My my general like uh, as we transition to mid game, like if I have a lead, um, very rarely do I try to like siege a tower. I want to go like just hunt them down in right, the jungle. Right, right, right. Yes. And yes, sometimes yes, exactly. that's tough to get the team. To like come with me i mean and then i'm just like a tristana waiting to walk into the enemy jungle <laughs> sometimes you don't need them right wow you're actually yeah. giga smurfing um so yeah it depends on what your jungler is doing but let's say your jungler refuses to come to your lane fuck it we just try and pull the jungle mid while your team's on the map and you jump away right like pulling the jungle i mean you fight that draven and jump away with fiddle ulties perfect if your team is on the map right mm -hmm. so you can do that too if your jungle is not playing on your side um, also, let's talk about this because it's really funny that you did it with one item rather than six items, right? Check it out. Halo Blades, use the bomb on Vayne, and then ulti for Swain, ulti auto attack for Swain. Isn't that funny? You did it exactly what we exactly what we talked about, except it's with one item, right? I find that very interesting. So you definitely know how to do this stuff. I think it's just a, a late game thing, right? It's very interesting. It's very interesting. Yeah, I, no, it's, really it's probably some sort of panic, some sort of late game. I can die so quick, so I got to get my damage out on the first thing yeah. I see. Yeah, and, like Morgana uh, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. So I'd say, uh, if you want to work on that stuff, you'll say, late game, uh, be very conservative with your ability. Like, say exactly what pattern you're going to use on the closest guy, on whoever okay, it is, good. right? So for Fiddle, with Hourglass, I'll be like, only Halo Blades, mm -hmm. so I don't waste anything, right? And then once you have a Blancy Hourglass, jump on Draven, right? That's a classic. Um, switch to the second target with your, your your Q and your E. That would be fucking sick if you could do that. But yeah, that's the that's the idea. Play it slow. Play it very slow so that you can um, get maximum value in a, in, as you carry. I mean, this game is just over or what? <clears throat> very nice, very nice. Yeah, I still think this game, though, goes to like some 28, 30 minutes. And I, yeah, cause sure, I don't like, know, I happening. again felt like it should just be... This game should have been over in Goodness. 21 minutes. You could have been a psychopath and uh, short jumped in for that if you wanted to. I considered, I think at this point, because yeah, I think I, mean, I could have either just done the uh, R auto combo or done the jump true. auto finish. But this is 4v5, so you should be concerned, yeah. right? Should be very concerned. And then, uh, of course, you know, Silas is TPing in, so full, full send it, guys. Fuck it. <clears throat> you have bomb in two seconds. Oh, nice. And we jump in here on the vein. Oh, maybe not. Did you see what I saw? Uh, I did not see. Are you thinking a WN yeah. uh, and then an R auto on the vein? Uh, no, we have. Uh, okay, what are our? What do we got here? Halo blades, Ian ulti, right? Yep. So, how do you feel about order of operations here on vein? Uh, I I guess vein is the target, right? Yeah. Uh. Uh. Well, I feel like uh, if we're trying to just burst him, I 
<laughs> before this, I would have just jumped in uh, E, auto, 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 R, boom. So, honestly, but, uh, that's that going to overkill him. Yeah, that's probably overkills, right? I would, I would probably, it's going to be more precise. How can we be more precise? Yeah, I think um, just E into Halo Blades. Sure. Or if I want to do it the other way, I could just do Halo Blades into yep. R auto. Yo, honestly, I'm down to just jump Halo Blades ulti only, right? And then mm -hmm. bomb Swain or something, right? So yeah. definitely, we definitely have a play here, okay? So that's just to help you carry harder, okay? I don't think it's something you have to worry about right now. You don't really have an issue. Maybe late game, you should worry about it, okay? So you can practice this kind of stuff mid-game. But, um, I mean, you're still winning the game, right? <laughs> so yeah. uh, I would not worry about min-maxing your damage. Uh, that's on a second. That's a secondary concern, okay? But you, you can. I just want to show you that there are a lot of opportunities to do so. Right, as you can see, in yeah. these in these fights, a lot of opportunities to something jump in. I'll have oh, to work on. You can flash for this if you really want to. Yeah, you're gonna bully that guy. Yeah, make him yeah. uninstall. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> get his ass. Oh my goodness. All right, all right. This game's just over or what? Do you die here? If you die once, we'll have to take a look. I just can't. Uh, though. I can't recall if I die in this one. Nah. This oh one yeah, I die here. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. I mean, what do you think I'm going to say? I don't even have to watch. Uh, we've got one member in yeah, base. Yeah, in base! Yeah. Is it not the same thing? Even when you're winning, apparently it's the same thing, right? So this is the, the major pattern to work on, I think. That and when in the mid-game and late-game, you should let team fights start before you join. That's it. Either two, yeah. seems simple, but these two ideas will save you infinite amount of headache, okay? Because like, let's say you're 4v5, you kill this guy, we're out, we're good, right? But uh, maybe we don't have to keep going, <laughs> right? So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is this is how it ends. Uh, goodbye, goodbye, Vi. Oh yeah, Vi is dead, right? Oh my goodness, Kazix is going for Vi. Yep, Kazix yeah. is going for Vi. And now uh, you have to you're forced to use a lot of things here. Yeah, uh, right? cancel the auto and. Uh, I'm surprised still you didn't got it with go the bomb. for it. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't go for it here. Um, oh, you still got it with the bomb. You said okay. Yeah, but I mean, I wow. canceled the auto right there. That was overkill um, was, like, for turned sure. off to walk. Uh, I would say, uh, I would save some juice here for sure, but that's just me. Uh, maybe yeah, like, I always it. feel like Gwen just like is incredibly tanky. Um, so it's probably just a, my damage to Gwen not so confident with. Here's a, here's a brainless way to think about it, okay? Let's say just dump everything and look for your second target with your mm -hmm. half, the rest, the second half of your Q will still be up, right? So if you dump yeah. everything on Gwen, you can immediately jump Swain because your Q will still be going. That's a that's another way to do it if you want to um, be lazy about it, I guess you could say. So, but yeah, uh, we're dead here. I mean, it doesn't matter yeah. if you exhaust here. You have no damage, right? Yeah. Yeah, I should have jumped. Close. I should have either turned, tried uh, to just auto the guy down, or jumped over the wall. Yeah. Um, there's no honestly. There's no. There's no way. Like yeah. no hail blades, no E, no Q, no ulti. You're just dead. Even though you're 16 kills, it doesn't matter, right? You're not. There's no way you kill someone with auto attack. <laughs> So, okay, fast forward, fast forward. So, yeah, as you can see, same thing, right? Zed's in base. You should know Zed's in base. Therefore, how should we play? We can go for a freebie, but you should know that it is still 4v5, right? And that's basically mm -hmm. it. Literally, the only way to throw. The fastest way to win and lose a game is through 4v5 stuff, okay? I want you to, I want you to have that mantra in your head in these D4 games. <laughs> yeah. All right? That way, when your team is 4v5, bad. yes. <laughs> That way, when you know your team is doing some stupid shit, you won't die with them, okay? Like, the example oh, die here. The, the example I want to tell you is the... You ran mid, even though your team into Dragon. You're still winning. Mm -hmm. Even though your whole team died. As long as you're doing the right thing, you're still winning, okay? Um, yeah, you just forgot that it existed, I guess. Feels bad. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Is this normal? I didn't really see you die to this. Maybe we did die to this and... Eh! I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, this less so. Um, I think again, I was just like saying, we're going, we're winning, we're so strong. There's no way we could lose. <laughs> and then I, I take like an extra two steps into Diana and can't get out of time. Yeah. And, uh, uh, it's whatever. I could have still just tethered my range a little bit better. Uh, reminds me of uh, the first game we watched with Ezreal, where I uh, walked like into Ezreal uh, yeah, instead yeah. of tethering around the the side. All right, 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 right. Um, they're just all dead here, I guess. Keg W, man, this is just you're just you're just just you're just holding them hostage, guys. <laughs> you haven't ended the game yet. You're holding them hostage. Also, don't yeah, get I think our solo laners. We're, this, uh... is, this item is dog. Don't get it. 
It's it's unbuyable. It's unpurchasable. Okay. That's a new rule. Oh, yeah. I think no one else had grievous wounds, and it I was matter. worried about don't, the. Don't uh, buy that shit, dude. Don't buy it. It's just not. It's just not worth. The Gwen. Yeah, it's just not good. I you literally, literally have anything else other than that. Yeah, I, oh. I generally avoid it like the plague, but I think we, this game. We can do uh, a fun little puzzle here. You tell me what's the play. Um, if we can jump to the outside on Swain. Yep. And then we can hop. What do we uh, use? Uh, just autos. Oh, oh, oh. Is it just autos? What what specifically? Halo Blades. Halo Blades. Okay, good. Yep. He's dead. He's dead. Okay, that is all to you. Yeah. I mean, we can R her. We can flash it. Yeah. Uh, uh, we can... What can we do before we R? Oh, E. E, R, yeah. And then we yep. can all jump on her with the second, with Q. Yep, Boom, with Q. done. Yeah. And mm -hmm. one auto vein, dead. Okay, Gwen can't do anything about it. Probably just jump away, right? So this yep. is like, it's like a little puzzle here, right? That you can do. But yeah, uh, usually if you want to solve these puzzles, just go for the first thing. Hell mm -hmm. Blades on Swain and you can figure it out from there, okay? <clears throat> but yeah, that's how that's how you'll be able to figure this out. Oh, did you die here? You didn't die here, no way. Bro, you out. didn't kill them all. Yeah. Oh no. I think I was nervous from inting the, the bot play. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But you see, you see how we approach these now, right? So, yeah. Let's fast forward. <clears throat> Looks like your chestnut is pretty good. So I would say it's very much Mid game, map awareness ideas. Map mm -hmm. awareness being, you know, is your team in base? Should you be doing something? I think that's the most obvious one to work on. And then later on, you're gonna have to be like, okay, my team is playing top side. They're forcing on the tower bot. Okay. Yeah. And that's kind of the what you should eventually build up to. You should you should be able to notice on every single play what's going on. Yeah, respecting okay. their ability to force. Right. And yeah. then the other thing is mid late game. Uh, don't go first. <laughs> yeah a fight breaks out and let someone go first you cannot go first because mm -hmm. even if you go first and you have an answer let's say um let's say they're doing baron and you have an answer to morgana binding you have cleanse she binds you for half of your health you cleanse it's not worth yeah okay let's say you have an answer you jump away from her bind still not worth your your jump is worth more than the bind okay so no matter what do not go first even if you are going first and sidestepping she's going to make you sidestep into gwen still not worth right yeah. it's crazy Almost, it's pretty crazy. It's almost <laughs> almost never worth to go first, unless you're faker or something, okay? So yeah, I'll just wait to see how the situation unfolds. Your goal is to win the fight. Don't worry about the bear. So, mm -hmm. patience. Gotcha, patience. gotcha. <clears throat> okay. Sounds good? Sounds good. Awesome, awesome. Any last questions? No, uh, really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate the content. Appreciate uh, your stream. So, uh, T Y thanks. T Y. All right, man. Good luck in the game. I think you're gonna do really well. I think once you can figure out the whole um, sets going in, he's griefing, let him die kind of angle. You're gonna do really well. Okay. The game's gonna look really simple um, once you can do that. I guess the ultimate test is if you see your jungler. Uh, remember the jungle Elise was fighting. Um, where is it? Jungle Elise was like fighting. You you know what I'm talking about? The jungle Elise is fighting over here, and you immediately ran over. The yeah, ultimate the test. Yeah. Yes, yes. The ultimate <laughs> test is knowing that Thresh and Elisa are in this bush before you go. Yeah. That's when you know your map awareness has gotten really good. Okay. I want you to build it up to that point. That's your goal. Okay. okay. So I don't know what triggers you have to look at your map, but I think you already look at the map. Yeah, constantly. Well, yeah, you look at the map enough to know to start implementing these ideas rather than look at the map ideas. Okay. It's mm -hmm. when you look at the map, what are you looking for? Okay. My team, right? What are we doing? And then, then you look at enemy team. Yep. Okay. So, all right, cool. Go like the games. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, other than that, I'll upload this to YouTube so you can go back and rewatch. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks again. No Bye. problem. All right, man. Peace.